Hello. What's up, Jim Jones? It is your girl, you know I believe I know. And I just came back from shopping and also seeing the new Spider-Man movie. And let me tell you, I can't wait till the next. I love this multiverse. I love that idea. And I love exploring the teenage perils, of pain and angst and trying to find your place in this world. Because I find myself always trying to find my place in this world. That is the storyline for my life. So, anyway, I wanted to try on the clothes that I got today. They probably won't fit, but it's okay, because I just shelled out a lot of money on a personal trainer. So, hopefully we will see some results. <laughs> So I tried to keep it really simple. I got an extra large shirt. Everything that I got was extra large. I try to always do that. This is unique glow. When I was in Korea, I was able to kind of fit an extra large. Like it was one of those things that you're kind of pushing it. Well, anyway, I got this shirt. I really like these types of shirts. They always turn into like crop tops on me. Um, and we will see if that's what's going to happen today. I'll show it on me. Um, this was 99 of this country's money. I will put it on the screen. I will put it on the screen <laughs> um, of like how much that is in USD. And then I got this shirt. Okay, because because you, you're not going to show me Kakashi Senpai and me not get him. So it says in the world of ninja. Those who break the rules and clothes are branded as garbage, but those who don't cherish their friends are garbage worse than that. So boom, boom. So I got this shirt. Like I got two t-shirts. All of my shirts lately have been green. I wanna stop that, but also all of my shirts lately have been green. So how is, you know what I'm saying? And then I saw this, okay, and it's a skirt, I think. Yeah, it's a skirt. It's just a black skirt. A black skirt from Uniqlo. And it's stretchy material, so I figured that I could still fit it even if I can't fit it. You feel me? I got this in an extra large. Oh, by the way, the Kakashi shirt. Kakashi shirt was also 99. So both shirts, 99. The skirt is 199. So the skirt kind of spacious. And then we got some black pants. Now I wanted to get a different color type of pants. It's just the style that they that, that I wanted, they didn't have. So when I'm talking specifically about styles, we know I'm a tall girl. And I don't know if you can see that, but I like it when there's like some type of cinch at your ankle. Okay, so I'm going to try on both of these sets as outfits. Let me see. What am I going to do Kakashi with? Maybe I'll do Kakashi with the black skirt and I'll do the green shirt as the black pants. Okay, but I will show you these as outfits in a little bit. Okay. always turn into crop tops that is the curse of having big knockers now these pants again I said earlier they might not fit they might not fit and that's okay because I'm hoping that at least by the end of these three months of working out ooh, <laughs> working out Because 
<sighs> Stretching material. Let me see. Let me see. That's the sound of my hands. Ooh. 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 I don't know if this could work. I don't know if this could work in three months. I don't know if this could. My hips aren't going to go down that much in three months. Oh no. This is like a. This is like a three-year plan. <laughs> <laughs> in three years, I could possibly fit in the pants in the country that I'm in. <laughs> because not today. Well, let me just nicely just, <laughs> just move it on out. I got some nice pants that I cannot wear. It's been a while since I bought things that I cannot wear. But this shirt, I will wear. Like, I will wear this shirt. Like just a green little, yep. And then let me see my Kakashi shirt. Cause it's extra large too. Now the thing is, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to flash you. Um, the thing is, I feel like extra large clothes on me where I am, extra large clothes in general, I will, when I was back in America, okay, I could wear a uh, 1X, you know, I can, you know, I'm big enough for 1X. I could go up to 2X. Honestly, I could wear a 3X shirt and they will all fit me the same because I have big boobs. I tend to prefer to go smaller um, in my shirts, like suffocate the boobs and show off the waist a little bit. You know what I mean? But I had gained weights um, in the past few years. I had gained a little bit of weight. So they're not, it's not suffocating the boobs and showing off the small waist as much as it used to. Cause this used to be smaller. Well, she got a little plushier. Okay, let me just, Bella the Bella. Y'all know her as Bella the Belly. She got a little plushier. She's a little jigglier. She's a little. <laughs> Maybe that shouldn't stay in the video, but she's, she's changed a little bit. I'm squishier in the midsection. So, like, she's starting to show. Like, I'm the person now when I'm wearing shirts, my tummy is, like, right here. Just right here. When I touch, I'm like, oh, my tummy's not showing, but it's it's right here. So, if I slim down a little bit, I think it will just fit me better. But even so, like, I'm always, I'm not going to be able to go to a store and be like, okay, extra large is going to fit me. Because it all depends on the fit. It all depends on how I want it to fit. It all depends on the style. You feel me? So the pants are a no-go. And I kind of thought that the pants would be a no-go. And the tops are a yes-go. So it's really, I need pants. That's the issue. That's the only reason why I tried to pick up bottoms today. I just need pants. It's a dire thing. I only have two pairs of jeans. Um, and I'm not happy with that. So I need to buy more clothes. Did I just waste money buying clothes that don't fit me? Kinda. But now I have some things to work towards. So if you ever see me doing a try on and I'm trying on these pants and they fit, just know I'm doing things, okay? Um, anyway, that is all for this video. I just wanted to share with you guys, like I went shopping, I spent a lot of money, tax write off, but I'm not even, you know, you know, but you know what I mean? like. I spent a lot of money today, but it was for a future for me, okay? So next time you see me, I'm gonna be doing more, okay? Anyway, much love and positive vibes. I'm sorry about the lighting. Like, it's, it was just one of them days today. I could have turned on the light behind me and it would have helped out a lot, but you know, foresight. It's not called foresight for a reason. Uh, anyway, much love and positive vibes. And I hope to see you guys again next time. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. But personally, I feel like you should have already liked the video if you stayed in the intro. Because it does ask you to like. Uh, <laughs> hi, baby. I'm talking to you. Oh, by the way, I want to leave... I want to leave off with saying something like being important and shit, okay? So what did I think about... Oh, I did think about something today before I got home. Okay, so I was walking home and I was thinking, okay, like these pants might not fit me and that's fine. 
And, like, walking around, people are looking at me. They're laughing at me and stuff like that. And I'm just like, okay, that's fine. I still walk around with my head held strong up high. Um, one thing that I can say is if you are in another country, this is just for my special baddies that are living in another country. If you are in another country and people are talking shit about you, eh. You know what I'm saying? They're not man enough to do it in your language. So you don't even have to care about what they're saying. On another note, um, I was thinking that, you know, as long as I'm doing it for me, I'm good. Don't do shit for other people. Don't. And I think I said this earlier today. Don't do shit for other people. Think about beating yourself. So tomorrow I'm going to beat the version of me today. And I'm just going to keep going that every day I'm going to do a little bit something to either either maintain where I am or better myself. And that is my goal each day. So as long as we can make that our goal, I think we could be happier as humans. We could be happier as people because each day you're not trying to fight against the world. You're fighting against yourself, your own demons. And I guess... To be happy with that, you also have to confront your own demons and be open and honest and just be like, yeah, I kind of suck. Because, yeah, I kind of suck. But it's okay. We all kind of suck, babes. Especially me. I'm a Leo, so I'd be like, mm, no, I'm the best. I'm not, I'm not one of those Leos that's like, I'm the best in the world, but I do have my moments. We all kind of suck. And that's fine. You know? To know that you suck is to know that you could also in a way better it some people don't know they suck and they just suck and they never know that they suck because they don't know that they suck that made more sense in my head i don't think a lot before i speak that's the one thing i was thinking about i don't think a lot before i speak i just speak and i kind of like that but also i hear people and when they're talking they're like oh you know like i watch videos on um billy billy youtube and people really sit and they think, and they think about every word before they say it. And they speak like this. And they have such thought-provoking words. And they, they're sharing. And I just think, they're really thinking about that. <laughs> like, like, they're really thinking about the words that they say before they say it. And I really don't do that shit. Like, I just come on and I'm just like, I mean, I'm sure it shows. I'm sure it shows. But I just come on and I'm just like, oh, boo, boo, boo. Anyway, Spider-Man, if you haven't watched it already, go watch it. I mean, I know I watched it late. It did not just come out. And by the time you get this video, it's probably been out for like a year, you know? But yeah, go watch the new Spider-Man. Watch all of the Spider-Man. I like Spider-Man. Okay, like, I don't really care too much about the other superheroes. I like Spider-Man because I like that teenage existential crisis type shit. Like, always finding yourself. And I know other superheroes are always finding themselves. I don't know. I just like Spider-Man. I got a special spot, spot in my heart for Spider-Man. And Spider-Man, Marvel, and I also like, what do I like? I like Spider-Man, things from Spider-Man's point of view, and I also like Harley Quinn, because I think she's hot. I want more things from Harley Quinn's point of view and more things from Spider-Man's point of view. And also, I like the villain arc, you know? Like, the new Cruella DeVille, I didn't get to watch that movie. I didn't get to finish it, but, like, you know what? I might go look it up, try to find that Cruella DeVille movie so I can finally finish watching it, because it was so good, and I don't know how it ended. <sighs> this reminds me of the one time, one time, like, I think the first time I was like really conscious of being like alive or being me is I was watching a Mulan movie and while I was watching the Mulan movie my sister had a nosebleed and we called 911 and the paramedics were inside of the house and my sister had like buckets of blood right which I think my mom had water in the bucket and like when she squares out the rag it dyed the water red because I don't think she would have been okay if she really had like a, she, it was a bowl if she really had a bowl full of blood like that but I mean it could happen I just I don't know but anyway I always thought of how my little sister read my first time seeing Mulan now that was just I mean I don't know why I shared that but that just reminded me of that like you know when you stop something in the middle and you don't get to finish it that was my first coming alive moment. So yeah, 
Like, I have little, like, memories, bits and pieces, but that was, like, a memory for me. I'm trying to think, like, I wish I could, like, access all of my memories, but I don't think I want them. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we have these conversations, and I don't know if I had this conversation with you, but the idea of, like, traveling into the past, I don't like that shit. Stay away from the past, okay? Plan for your future. You know, we have a lot more power that than we think we do. I read a, well, I watched a video last night and it was saying you have so much more power than you think you do. The things that you think you have no control over, you have control over. And there are some things that you think you have control over that you have absolutely no control over. And I I, I felt that shit. So anyway, much love and positive vibes. And again, I said this earlier, but 